All right, so last time we were here. Yeah, so last time we were here, um, <clears throat> as you guys remember, the three Shogun warriors split and then went in different directions. Um, Kambatra went back to Japan. Dangred Ace went back to his marine biology lab. And then uh, Raideen went back to being a stuntman. <clears throat> and then we have our three solo adventures for each of the three main Shogun warriors. The last two issues were devoted to Raideen and his battle against uh, the Cerberus machine. This episode features Dangard Ace, and he is going to be doing battle against this thing, whatever this is. We don't know. War beneath the waves is what it is, but we don't have... This is a crazy monster. It's some kind of underwater aquatic thing. It's, it's a comic book monster, you know? It's like just mash all these biological atomic... Uh, biological um like parts of anatomy together and just make a monster and that's what they did for this issue and that's what dangered ace is going to fight then the next two issues after this are going to feature a solo story in which combatra um has to battle another monster in japan but for some reason dangered ace didn't get two issues he only got a single issue story and this is it and in this issue, he will be facing off against this horrible sea creature. Invincible Guardians of World Freedom, the Shogun Warriors. I love that. I fucking love that shit. But yep, here we go. Shogun Warriors number nine. This is a self-contained story, so it'll probably be the only Shogun Warriors I upload this month. But next month, we do get that uh, Kambatra story. Two issues of her uh, in Japan. But now let's see, because I, I got, I want to know what the fuck this thing is. What the hell is this about? Stan Lee presents Shogun Warriors, Star Child. Oceanographers Elongo Savage and Judith Johns have entered an underwater grotto to investigate the previous night's phenomenon, a meteor which splashed down off the coast of Madagascar. The meteor, however, has just hatched it's an alien it's an alien that came on a meteor i remember now that was at the end of the previous issue if you haven't seen it go check it out an egg it was an egg and in hatching has unleashed a terrible star child star child it's a fucking alien i should have known i should have fucking known but i didn't but i should have i should have took one look at the thing and i should have known I must use my pendant to communicate with the followers of the light at Shogun Sanctuary. Concentrate my willpower, my thoughts, through the pendant. And, trouble, Elongo Savage? Dr. Tambura, I need your help immediately. Whoa, who is that? We are already preparing Dangard Ace for immediate transport, Elongo. Feeding the computer coordinates matching your subsea location. But what is the problem? This creature, Dr. Tambura, it came from inside a meteor that landed here, and it has us trapped in this cave. But what manner of star spawned creature could it be? That's what I want to know. Hold on, Ilongo. The Shogun Warrior Dangard Ace will be ready for transport within moments. Dangard is ready now, Dr. Tambura. Then lock phasers and activate all systems for... Transport. Ooh, he's gonna teleport. Boom! Straight into the cave. Teleported him straight into the cave. There is Dangard, but he was too large to materialize inside the cavern here, and the monster is still blocking the way out. If only there were some way to attract its attention out of there. Ilongo, don't understand any of this. But you said that there's something extraordinary had happened to you, and it must concern that giant robot out there. Yeah, it does. So I will give you your needed distraction, and if I fail, know that my last thoughts were of you and your safety. Judith, 
No, come back. She's gonna be fine. She's gonna be fine. She's gonna be fine. She's a badass, though. Look at that. That takes courage. Damn, look at that thing. Shogun Warriors movie. That's why we need a Shogun Warriors movie. Can you imagine this fucking thing on the big screen? But it is already too late. Evading the whip of a massive tentacle, Judith flashes out of the grotto's entrance. And the star child monster pursues. Oh, she can't hope to outdistance that thing. No, not at all. It's gonna fucking eat her, dude. You need to you need to pick up the pace, sir. I've got to reach Dangered Ace before the monster reaches Judith. And hope that Shogun Warrior can win the race against time. Ah, oh, I'm getting tired. I can't swim this fast much longer. Inside the mammoth Shogun Warrior, Savage frantically discards his scuba gear. Time's running out. I've got to reach the controls. Please, Dangard. Whoosh, what? Oh, he's got the nipple rockets. Don't fail me now. Boom! Okay, you hit the star child, so that's good. But now it's on you, and you gotta fight it. It worked! I got it to turn away from Judith. But my missiles didn't even pierce it. And here it comes. I can't risk grappling with the thing before I know its strengths and abilities. So, I'd better just stay out of reach. While the star child monster bobs sickeningly to the surface. Immediately demonstrating that its reach is longer than suspected. What are those? Are those tongues? Yeah, they look like tongues. Dangered Ace rips the water like a Polaris missile. Oh, I, I read that out of order. It's pulling me down. I can't get free. No leverage. I've got to force the thing to let go. Blast myself free. Choom, choom, choom. Oh my god. I would kill for this. Or like, how come nobody ever made a Shogun Warriors video game? Or like, you know, like... Or maybe, well, technically there is in Japan. Shogun Warriors, what they originally were. Uh, the giant robot series like Getter Robo and all those. Technically those have video games. I might have to play one for the channel. No good. The missiles had no effect. Is it like... It doesn't seem like he's able to shoot it. It's still pulling me down. Elongo. Oh, she, well, okay. She's alive. We know she's good. She's alive. She made it. One last chance before it devours me. Try to use Dangard's foot jets to blind it. Yeah, that's a good idea. And drive it back under the surface. But Dangard's success is short-lived as... Elongo, it's heading for shore. Oh, God, anything but that, dude. Anything but the shoreline. Jesus Christ. That's gonna be a fucking disaster. Yes, and straight towards the oceanography center. All of our work there. The specimens in the tanks. It could destroy everything if I don't stop it. Yeah, but is it like... Hmm. Is it like this thing was forged in the vastness of space? Like, like, is it the gravitational pressure? Like, what is it that makes this thing invulnerable? It's no good. Nothing seems to affect it. I'm beginning to wonder if the thing is actually organic. Exactly. That's what I'm thinking. Because there must be some other measure. But it, like, it must not... The physics of our world must not apply to this thing. Otherwise, he would just blow it apart. Because remember, Dangard Ace has the best guns of the team. He has the best missiles. He has the best firearms. That's his specialty. So he should be able to blow this thing to pieces. And if anything can stop it... Wait, hold on. I'm starting to wonder if this thing is actually organic and if anything can stop it. But I've got to try. I don't want to get close to it again. I shouldn't risk another direct contact. But my wants and center's needs are about to clash. Run! That monster is going to crush the center! Look at it, man. It is truly an alien being. Oh my god. He did the headbutt. He did the... <laughs> Oh my god. You know what this reminds me of? Have you guys ever seen the Peacemaker TV series? Which I love. I love it. I love 
Peacemaker. I love when John Cena plays Peacemaker. I love Vigilante in that show. I love it. I'm, I'm wishing and hoping and praying that at some point we get another season of that. If you haven't seen it, I really recommend going to watch Peacemaker. It's funny. It's full of action. The characters are great. But in that show, he has a helmet. And he has different helmets and they all have different abilities. But one of the helmets is like a flying headbutt helmet. I, I can't remember what it's called, but it's a flying headbutt helmet. And it like... It's really dangerous and it knocks you out. That's what this... Anyway, I'm sorry. That's tangent. Go watch Peacemaker. Peacemaker is a great superhero. He is. Boom. Not if Dangered Ace can prevent it. And prevent it, he can. Yeah, I believe in you, Dangered. But how are you going to do this, dude? That thing is invincible. Now I've got to get to Judith. Judith, listen to me. Call the authorities. Tell them what's happened. But tell them to stay away from the creature. Do you understand? Yes, but... But nothing. Tell them that they should clear the people out of the area quickly. And that I will take care of the monster. Go on. Use a phone in the center. But Alongo, what if they won't believe me? They will, Judith. They... They... Look at the... They'll believe you. Trust me. They, they can see it. It's heading further inland. Very shortly, they will have to believe. Meanwhile, a half a world away at a courthouse in Tokyo. Yeah, let's see what Combatcher is doing. That's what I want to know right now. Suspected of defection to a foreign power as well as theft of a top secret jet prototype. How do you respond to these informal charges, Genji Odashu? I am sorry, but I can't respond. That's right, remember? Because that's originally what happened. She was out flying the test jet. And she was summoned by the followers of Light to save the world. So from their perspective, she abandoned her post and stole the jet. That's a great storyline. Let's see. Let's see how this unfolds. I can only assure you that the plane prototype is still a secret and that I have done nothing wrong. Genji's friend and fellow worker, Kosei Ono, winces in frustration. Please, Genji, just tell them the truth. I know you couldn't do anything wrong, so just tell them whatever it is you've done. She can't, dude. She can't... She can't give away the secrets of the followers of light. Otherwise, the followers of darkness will return. Don't you get that? No, you don't get that. You don't understand. That is not good enough. Without details explaining your prolonged absence, we can neither accept your statement nor release you. Then, gentlemen of the court, it appears we have reached an impasse. My statement is firm and final. Oh, that's my girl right there. Look, she is not budging. That is, that is a rigid sense of morality right there. She will not put the world in danger even to save her own skin. I can't wait to see how that plays out in the next two issues. The town of Mankara in Madagascar. There are still hundreds of people in the streets. I've got to hold the thing outside the city. Until the evacuation is complete. The kick is swift and sudden. The response even more so. Fire? He's breathing fire like a mythical dragon. Indeed. And now, as if discovering this new power for the first time itself, the Star Child monster goes fully berserk, defying Dangered Ace or anything else to put a halt to the chaos. Wait a minute. What is that down there? A school bus? <laughs> a school bus filled with children and no. Oh no. Oh my god. What did it did it crash? Save them, Dangered. Meanwhile, in Los Angeles, you're going to turn away now? What about the school bus full of kids? Who cares what Ray Dean is doing? Oh, my God. I still can't believe it, Richard. And I'm sorry I doubted you. I really didn't believe any of your story. But now, Dina? Well, now, Mr. Carson, after being inside Ray Dean, helping you fight Cerberus, well, let's just say I'm a believer. But we still don't know anything about Cerberus. 
Except that it sure was dangerous, and you'll, if you'll remember, they never actually defeated Cerberus. They only injured it, and it ran away. So it's still out there somewhere. Yeah, the thing just disappeared, and we still don't know who controlled it, or... The door? Who are you? We're investigating the beach incident. Now we have a report on you, Richard Carson. Stating that you were involved in a suspicious matter at a certain film location. Apparently, a picture which resembled one of the giant robots was projected from a device around your neck. Further, furthermore, we have a second report that you were later seen on the beach itself. Who? Me? Your reports must be mistaken. I look like a lot of guys and I wouldn't get involved in stuff like that. I'm just a confirmed coward who wears an ordinary pendant. A stuntman who's a coward, eh? We have ways of checking these things out, you know. And just remember this. We now have you in our files. Yes, and we may be back. So what, the men in black are after him now? Hmm. Who are these jokers? I don't know. I don't think they're that uh, I don't think they're that big a deal though. They're definitely not more important than the followers of light. I don't believe it. They threatened you, Richard. Who do they think they were? The FBI? Well, probably, yeah. I don't know, but I'd wish I'd been more cool about Ray Dean. And now more than ever, I wish I knew the secret of Cerberus. Yeah, that makes two of us, man. Because Cerberus really touched me. That shit was terrifying. With all of his five heads. Fucking crazy. Still... No sign of the entity, Carson, called Cerberus Charn. No, it has disappeared from the scanners completely. I see. And what about Dangard Ace's progress with the new menace, Charn? Well, it's not bad, but not good. At the moment, he's attempting to save a school bus filled with children. Yeah, the, the children are escaping from the bus. I've got to keep the star-spawned creature away from them. Give them time to reach safety. Which calls for grappling with the thing. Caught from behind, the grotesque Scar Child responds unexpectedly, not striking at Dangard Ace, but at the distant building. The structure begins to topple and Dangard releases the creature, as Elongo Savage instinctively reacts to the greater danger. There are people in that building! Oh shit. I've got to hold it up, which means I'm helpless now, and if the creature attacks me... No, wait. What's happening to it? It's starting to glow! And now it's... changing? It's going into a state of metamorphosis. It's been in a larval stage all along, it's just a baby. And now it's changed into its mature form. It's leaving, heading back towards the sea. Okay, I think that's probably the best outcome. I'm still terrified because much like Cerberus, the Star Child seems impossibly powerful, impossible to kill, and it just gets away. Ugh, I can't pursue it or the building will crush everyone in the street. But why did it flee when it reached its final stage? Stronger stage. Danger Day certainly didn't hurt it very much. It's almost as if it were merely testing me for the real battle yet to come. Meanwhile, in Tokyo, the hearings continue apace. I repeat, I can reveal no details of my prolonged disappearance. Very well, Genji Odashu. Then we shall just have to turn you over to... Boom! <gasps> Earthquake! No, it's not coming from the ground. It's coming from above. There is an instant. There is an instantaneous and total pandemonium. And Genji finds herself alone and unheeded. Oh no. But she is stunned by her first glimpse outside the courtroom. Her pendant flashes and Dr. Tambura appears. Your life is in danger, Genji Odashu. Your fellow warriors have already been attacked. And now it is you. Prepare for the immediate transport of Combatra. Yes, sir. But you'd better hurry. Look at that fucking thing. Can you guys see it? Look at it. 
Look at that. One, two, three. Five heads. It's just like Cerberus, but it's it's half lizard, half robot. Look at it. Again, they're just they're just mashing anatomical things together and making a robot. The next issue. The mystery deepens in fear times five. Jesus Christ. So this is is that I don't know. I don't know what the plan is here going forward with the Shogun Warriors, but it freaks me out a little bit because Cerberus got away. If you haven't seen that, go watch that. And now we've seen the Star Child has gotten away. And now whatever this Fear the Five is, if that thing gets away, they're building up to something. They're building up to some big fight. And I, for one, cannot wait. However, there is always the possibility that none of these characters, Cerberus, the Star Child, or the Five, will return and that we just have to forget them. But I don't know. I have faith. I'm going to look ahead. This is the end of the video for you guys, but I'm going to look ahead and see what happens. Because I want to know. But <laughs> that's it. I'm sorry if I'm leaving you guys in a state of suspense, but that is it. That is the beauty of comics. It's a good fucking story. And we are gonna we are gonna go all the way to the end. I mean there's only like 20 of these issues in this series, so we're gonna we're going all the way to the end. But for now, that is it for this story. If you liked reading this comic with me and you want to read more comics with me, like this video, subscribe to the channel. And until next time, nerds, stay heroic.